It is not obvious to a casual onlooker at this downtown Kampala shopping complex, but these shop attendants have a disability. They are all deaf. Their main purpose is to help deaf customers to find their way around the shop. Most customers who have the deaf come here with them because they know somebody to explain to them is available. The employer is not the only one benefiting from their services. Fanta Lukundo is a 31-year-old who walked the streets for over three years looking for a job. But now she has the means to raise her two children. Now that I have work, I pay service for my children. What is important is my children to go to school. Rukundo and her five colleagues are among the few people with disabilities who have managed to find employment. According to statistics from the Uganda National Association of the Deaf, only 5% of the deaf people are employed in both the formal and informal sectors. Because when you employ a deaf person, a deaf person needs an interpreter. Some organizations say, how do I employ a deaf person and an interpreter? So the question is the cost. The Minister for the Elderly and Disabilities, Sulaiman Madada, says a company employing at least five people with disabilities is entitled to a deduction of 2% of all taxes as an incentive to employers. It would be even worse if these people were not acquiring education. We have provided under the Uganda, Uganda University and Tertiary Institutions Act that any person with disability would be given extra bonus points to go to the university. So the numbers have increased. Authorities say at least 16% of the total Ugandan population is disabled, and one of the biggest challenges they face is social stigma. Irene Namialo, NTV.